power of a power to find the power of a power multiply the exponents. So let's look at an example of what that means as an example. So 6 to the 4th power raised to the 5th power. So we have a power raised to a power. What we're going to do is look at that 5. And that means that we're going to have 5 of these parentheses, or what's in parentheses. So we're going to have 6 to the 4th, 5 times. So 6 to the 4th, times 6 to the 4th, times 6 to the 4th, times 6 to the 4th. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We already learned that anytime we're multiplying powers that have the same base, we add the exponents. So we're going to have the 6, and we're going to add the 4 five times. 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. Thus, we're getting 6, and we add that all together, we get 20. Okay. Here we have the second example, k to the seventh raised to the fifth power. Once again, we're going to take a look at that five exponent, the exponent on the outside, which tells us we're going to have uh, five of these k seven. So we're going to have k to the seventh five times k to the seventh times k to the seventh times k to the seventh times k to the seventh. So again, we use the same rules that we had before. Anytime we have uh, power being multiplied repeatedly like that, we're going to keep that base, and we're going to add the exponents. So in this case, since the exponents are 7, we're going to add 7 five times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And add that all together. So we can add that together. 7 plus 7 is 14. 14 plus 7 is 21, 21 plus 7 is 28, 28 plus 7 is 35. So we end up with k to the 35th power. So hopefully you see that there is some pattern. Is there a pattern? Okay, so try this one right here on your own. Get an answer. Write down the answer on your paper. Now try this one. It's a it's a little different, but try it. See if you could come up with an answer. Next, we're going to go over power of a product. And what is the power of a product? It says to find the power of a product. What do we do? Comma. Find the power. of each factor and this is important each of each factor and multiply and this is in words and here are the examples that we're going to take a look at example a we have 3a squared to the fifth power just like we did in the earlier examples, we have the exponent on the outside. So that exponent on the outside says we're going to have five sets of these parentheses. So we're going to have 3a squared, and we're going to have that five times. 3a squared, 3a squared, 3a squared, and lastly, 3a squared. So there's five of them. But since we have two things inside the parentheses, and they're different, a constant and a variable, I'm going to rearrange this, removing all my parentheses uh, using the commutative property. So I'm going to put all the, the bases that are like grouped together. So I'm going to put my threes all together. So I'm going to have three times three times three times three. So there's right there. And then I'm going to put all my a's together. So I'm going to say a squared times a squared times a squared times a squared, one, two, three, four, and five.
5 right there. So we learned that if we have bases or factors being multiplied repeatedly, we can write that as a power. So since we have 3 5 times, that just means we have 3 to the fifth power. Here we have this a squared. The a squared is being multiplied 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. So we have the a squared. And that is also raised to the fifth power because there are five factors being multiplied repeatedly. So here we're going to go ahead. So we applied the powers to each factor. And we're going to go ahead and multiply. So 3 to the fifth power, we multiply that out, whatever that is. So 3 times 3 is 9. I have 3 times 3 again. So 9 times 9. Is 81. 81 times that extra 3 is 243. So I get 243 here. Here I have a to the second power raised to the fifth power. And as we learn to do here, if we have a power of a power, we go ahead and multiply those exponents. So we get a to the tenth. And this is our answer right there. Okay. Example B. Say we have negative 2, m to the 7th power, n to the 6th, and we raise this to the 5th power. Okay, so same thing, even though now we have an extra variable, we still have the same step. We're going to deal with that outside exponent right there. So that means I'm going to have five sets of these parentheses. So that's going to take up a lot of space. So I'm going to start down here. Negative 2, m to the 7th, n to the 6th, times negative 2, m to the 7th, n to the 6th, negative 2, m to the 7th, n to the 6th, negative 2, m to the 7th, n to the 6th, and lastly, negative 2, m to the 7th, n to the 6th. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of these. So just like the previous example, since I have all these different factors, I have a negative 2, I have an m and an n, I'm going to go ahead and group them together with their like stuff. So the negative 2s I'm going to get together. So I'm going to have negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 right there. Next, I'm going to have the m's. So I'm going to have m to the 7th times m to the seventh, times m to the seventh, times m to the seventh, times m to the seventh. So there's five of those, one, two, three, four, five. And then last, n to the sixth, times n to the sixth, times n to the sixth, times n to the sixth, one, two, three, four, last one, n to the sixth. So very long and cumbersome right there. That's what we have. Uh, I don't think you guys see that, so let me move me out the way right there. So we have six of those. So like we said before, we have factors being multiplied repeatedly. We can write that as a power. So this means I have negative 2 to the fifth power right there. This one right here, I have m to the seventh raised to the fifth power. And then this one right here says I have n to the sixth raised to the fifth power. So now I, I can use my power of a power rule. So here I'm just going to multiply. So negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. Again, I have negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. So that's 4 times 4, which is 16. And then 16 times that negative 2 gives me a negative 32. Here we have a power raised to a power, so I'm going to go ahead and multiply those exponents. So that's going to be m to the 35. And then again, we have n to the 6 raised to the fifth power, so that's and multiply the exponent. 6 times 5 is n to the 30th power. So this would be my answer. So try this one on your own. Use the same rules and try to answer this one. Okay, now let's try this one on your own. Go ahead and figure out the answer for this one. Did you get the following answers? 64, b to the 18th, and negative 125, w to the 6th, z to the 24th power. 